Hello! Here is a short video to demonstrate how to make a moth or butterfly body from wire, fabric, and thread. Um, this video accompanies my moth and butterfly sewing patterns. If you don't have the pattern yet, they are available at blueterracotta.etsy.com. Alright, let's get started with what you'll need. You'll need, I use this kind of wire, um, but any, you know, you can get any different brand. 26 through 28 gauge wire is a good wire to use as a size. If you don't have wire and you have no access, you could also use a pipe cleaner. It, it'll work. It'll work as well. Okay, after that, you will also need half an inch strip of fabric. I've chosen yellow just because I had some. Any color to go with your project. Half an inch strip and I cut about eight inches. It might be a little too much, but it's better to have a little too much than too little. Um, next you'll need a little piece of fiber fill. Really not much. A little piece of fiber fill. Obviously a needle and thread. I've already prepped my needle and thread. It's a good thing to have those prepped before because you'll need to hold the body and hold your fabric in place with your other hand, right? Um, a pencil is a good thing to have to wrap around the tip, a sharpened pencil. I'll show you in a second. Um, you will need the body size guide which is in the pattern, it's found in the pattern. This gives you the size of the final body so that you don't make it too big or too small. And of course you'll need some wire cutters. These are jewelry sized wire cutters, but you could use uh, wire cutters that are in your toolkit. It's just to cut your wire. So um, I have an example of what it's going to look like. The armature, because that's the first step, is making the armature. It's going to look like this. It's going to be a little smaller than the body. It fits right inside the body guide in your pattern. So let's make one. Get rid of this. We don't need that right now. We're going to start with our wire. So what I do is, I mean you could use a tool, a special tool, but you don't need one. You just wrap your wire a few times around your pencil. Oh, right? Pencil tip. And it comes out to be sort of a little, you know, squiggly round thing at the end of your, your wire. It'll be, yeah, it'll be the head. So then you want to bend it. And again, you don't need a special tool. I'm going to just bend it with my finger. It's a little shorter. That's fine because the fabric will, uh, will make it longer. Then bend it all the way. And then just start twisting it back up towards the head. Once you get to the head, mm, go around it maybe. Right, go around that head, go in the other way, and come back down. You can form it into shape in the shape you want. Check out, make sure it's a little shorter. It is. So I'm gonna say that's good, and I'm gonna give it a trim. So I had cut off maybe seven inches of wire. I guess I wasted some. So maybe you only need five. But I like to have a little extra because I like coming down and making it sturdy. Come, going up and going down and so it's sturdy enough. Alright. That's that step. Now step two is going to be padding this out a little bit with some fiber fill. So I've got my thread ready. It's a regular sewing thread. Um, Usually you take the, the same color as you've chosen in your fabric. Okay, so it looks like it might be a little too much. I'm not sure. Anyway, take a little bit like this. And starting at the head, the head area, start wrapping it around the head. You really want to have a bit of a head showing. And then just wrap it around the wire, your wire, your armature. So it looks kind of fuzzy, looks kind of big, and maybe kind of weird, but it 
that's okay. Now you're gonna go back up, making sure that it really stays around the head. You want a head form. And I go right through the wire and I start, don't pull too tight because it'll probably pull all the way through, but that's okay. That's okay, just don't pull it tight. Keep going through the head, sewing right through the head. When I say through, I mean through the wire, through your armature. Stray threads are okay, it doesn't have to be really tight, it just has to be, you know, hold that head in so that doesn't look too big. All right, so that's my head pretty much. I'm gonna continue down the body by twisting it, twisting all the way down. So twisting and stitching. In other words, go around once or twice and then go through. Go around once or twice and through. All right, I'm at the end. I'm going to just go through that little loop that I left in the beginning on the bottom and sew the fiber fold to that. If it looks, uh, no, it looks good, yeah. If it looks a little too big, I could trim it I, and I will. I'm not even gonna bother to tie a knot because it's gonna be covered with fabric. So I'm gonna cut my thread, I'm gonna trim that is kind of sticking out a little bit. So, so far, it looks like that. Compare it to your fabric, your body guide, and it's still a little bit short, which is good because the fabric will probably stick off the end. Step three out of three, so it's pretty good. We're good. Um, let's see, which way would I do this? I like this edge here. I like this edge a lot. So I'll probably do it like this instead. Okay, so starting at the bottom, so you're gonna just start like that. There. You have another threaded needle with sewing thread. So it's ready. And I'm just gonna take it, hold it up, and start twisting it around. It can go off the edge a little bit. Start twisting it on there. Kind of tight. Now I've gone around at least once. Go through it with your thread. Go back around and really stabilize it. You don't want it un unrolling while you're trying to go and finish it up further up. So there we go. I've done three stitches. I should hold it. I'm going to put my thread over there and I'm going to, my thread is still attached. I'm going to start winding it up. There we go. We're just going to go up. Keep going up towards the head. Pretty tight. Um, and then at the head go a little bit looser just because you want it to be, you want it to look bigger. As you can see. Yeah, you want it to be a little bit bigger. All right, so now my thread is here. I'm going to turn it around once and stitch once, working my way back up to the top. So that I can sew the head together, the fabric around the head. Right, okay, so I'm getting up there. Keep twirling it around the head, but not too much, not too far over past the head, but enough. All right, so what I'm gonna do is see if I have enough fabric on there to fold it down, and I think I do be folding it there. So I think I have enough fabric. I'm gonna Snip some off. Oops, not very well, but yep. Yeah. Okay, it's fine. So I took some off. Oh, get it back in the in the viewer here. I'm gonna come all the way up with my needle so that I can stitch that head together. So we're gonna fold the fabric over 
the top of the head. Now come up. And stitch it down. It does, look so, it does look a little messy at first, but once you get all your stitches in, <clears throat> and if you have thread that's exactly the same color as your fabric, it won't, the stitches won't show anyway. As I'm wrapping it and stitching it down so that there's no mm, strange edges looking and making it look square or anything like that. Any kind of weird shapes, just so it looks like a head. All right, that. Okay, so I'm going to tuck that in. Get a few stitches back here as well. Now, take a few stitches all the way through so that it's really sturdy. And... This thread is a little bit too dark because you can see a little bit, you can see it a little bit too much, but it's okay. That way you can see it better for the demonstration. Now, here you can go back down. This is what I usually do. I'm go this way, I guess. And go back down the body, wrapping it tight. Wrapping and stitching. Getting it tiny at the bottom, as tiny as you can. Get near the end. Make a knot. Oops. Tie off your thread. Don't cut it right away. Go out the bottom. Out the bottom. And cut it off there. So, this is your little moth body. Now I know it doesn't look like much here all by itself, but yeah, it's the right size. It's just the right size. Um, after this, what you do after this depends on your pattern. You may want to embellish this with some little fringe knots going down. Of course, at the end, you'll put the antennae coming out the head. You could put little seed beads uh, for the eyes. You can do a lot of things with it, but this is a little, it almost looks like a little mummy wrapped body. Doesn't look like much, I know, but it'll be great once you sew your wings on. You're gonna love it. You can also bend it, shape it. It's the idea of having the wire armature if you did use, if you wanted to use this, you, um, the pipe cleaner, you do the same thing. Instead of coiling it around the pencil in the beginning, you would turn down the tip to and bend it back to make a head. And then wrap, as you did there, you can wrap it very tightly, you can get very small. Put a little bit of fiber fill maybe for the head if you think it's not big enough or wrap it again for a bigger head and then it can be used in the exact same way there you have it thank you